Hello, welcome to another video. It is a vlog. We all love vlogs. Vlogs are so fun. <laughs> The first week of March, my mom and my aunt were here for a little ski vacation, uh, and it was also kind of like spring break time, so I took a little bit of time off, which was really nice, but I'm back at it, back in the studio, back making stuff. I also got this brand new desk, which is from FlexiSpot. This video is not sponsored, but they did send it to me, but it's amazing. I can adjust it to whatever height I want, and it's life-changing. Other life-changing things, I got this tea kettle. It's clear, made of glass, and I've been making so much tea every single day because I have this beautiful thing to make it in. I also got this slinky. That's not in the video, though. I just wanted to show you. Oh, I got this tiny little sketchbook from Stillman & Burn that I've been painting in, and if you've seen my Instagram, plug for my Instagram where I've been doing these little studies from pictures I've been taking. Pretty cool. So yeah, I hope that you enjoy this little peek into my life and grab yourself a nice warm beverage and get cozy and I hope you enjoy the video. Hi again. I've been working on this painting. It doesn't look that great right now. It's in kind of like the ugly phase. I do have other things that I'm meant to do today. So I just got back from a little errand around. I went to Michael's because I had to get a bunch of these like plastic bags for my ski bunny sticker packs. So I'm going to pack all of my orders from the February pre-order. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm eating some yogurt. My tummy's been really bothering me lately. So I got some psyllium husk. I went to Whole Foods. I never go to Whole Foods. This is the only place that I could think of. We don't have like a food co-op in Salt Lake. And then I'm gonna pack all my orders. It's like three right now. And then I think I'm gonna ride my bike to the post office because I am gonna be riding my bike across Iowa this summer. 500 miles across Iowa in this event called Ragbri. And Taylor and his dad and his brother and I are gonna do it together, which I think will be really fun. Michaels has these sticker packs. They are like, they had these reptiles, I guess is a frog a reptile? And for some reason I was just like, I want that. And it was like $4. I'm an adult, I can buy reptile stickers with my grown up money. So that's what's up with me. had the most genius idea. This is just a picture of my rainbow trout earrings. I took it into Procreate and I'm gonna make a sticker out of it because I know not everyone is into the earrings as like an accessory, but I feel like this is a cute sticker. Not an inside joke, but like if you wanna have one of the clay trout, but you don't want the earrings. I'm gonna make these. Hi, um, I'm dressed like a professional welder because it's supposed to snow. A lot so I went and stocked up on some things I went to the grocery store it was really busy everyone and their mom had the same idea so it was like middle of the day on a Tuesday it's super busy I went to the leather store because I am making some bolo ties for a wholesale order for the National Wildlife Museum in Jackson Hole Wyoming um, they ordered several bolo ties for me so I have the flower pieces, I just need to attach the bolos, which I sometimes order these from Etsy and then sometimes go to the leather store. I feel like it is just better in general to try to support someone locally, so I do that when I can. I went to Blick, I got this tote bag. I have some fabric block printing ink and I really wanna make some block printed tote bags. I signed up to do the local farmer's market this summer. I don't know if I'm gonna get in yet, but I hope I do. Um, that would be like a guaranteed like five or six markets throughout the summer. I feel like people really like locally made tote bags, so I have some ideas for things I want to do with it. I just finished a commission, so I have some time on my hands. Fun. And then I also got E6000, which is the glue that I use to attach all of my bolo ties and magnets and stuff for my clay things. I got a giant 40 milliliter thing of white acrylic gouache. I use a lot of white when I'm painting and 
I just thought I would get this big guy. This is like $20 of gouache right there. The tubes are small, so it seems like silly to spend so much money on a tube of paint, but it lasts for so long and a little bit goes a long way, so it feels justifiable. And then I also got this little tiny Zeta series mixed media sketchbook. So I'm excited to try this out. I guess they're by Stillman and Burn. And I haven't tried any paper or sketchbooks by Stillman and Burn, so I thought I would try this. And yeah, I just think this size is fun. You can make like a tiny painting uh, really easily. Um, I also got a big pad of sketch paper that is in the car um, for figure drawing. <laughs> These little bison magnets are part of that wholesale order that went to the National Museum of Wildlife Art, which is in Wyoming. They asked if I would do a wholesale order for their gift shop and I agreed, mostly because I just thought it would be really cool to have my art in their gift shop. I don't do a lot of wholesale orders. These like clay things are very time intensive to make. Uh, I basically price them as low as I possibly can for the time and effort and materials that goes into them that still feels like affordable to me. Pricing your work is so weird, but I opened up a pre-order because a lot of people were really excited about these bolo ties, so I am going to be spending some time making and fulfilling those orders, but the pre-order is closed now. They are just one of those things. I feel like I hear a lot of other artists talk about this, like making these hand-painted clay things is really fun and it's especially really fun when you're making like three or four or five of something but when you have to make a huge amount of them like I have to make 25 bolo ties and that just feels like I work in a factory and I don't want to feel that way as an artist and I don't have to so and then I spent some time this month working on this heron painting it's so large and my studio is so small that working on it is kind of disruptive like I have to clear off my entire desk and put this little drafting board table up there and it's actually really physically taxing um, I'm chronically ill and disabled so uh, my energy levels are not where I feel like I would like them to be so painting this big painting really takes it out of me I talk a little bit more about this later in the video but I am just gonna be adjusting my expectations at the beginning of the year I was like I'm gonna do one large like two foot by three foot painting every single month and I'm just realizing that with all my other illustration work, commissions, and running my online shop and trying to do Patreon and trying to do art markets, it is just not sustainable for me to try to do this every single month. I do want to keep working towards like a big body of work of paintings, big meaning like five or six paintings. And I do think the larger size is challenging in a good way for me, but it has been stressing me out. So I'm going to need to adjust how I do things. Um, welcome to the floor. I just picked up an order from the print shop. I had them make these little packages. It's not like a package. It's a like a top card printed on like business card paper and I'm folding them over and then stapling them to these ski bunny packs. I think they're gonna just look so good for art markets. I designed these and I was gonna get them printed through like an online printer like Moo or Vistaprint which is where I usually get my business cards but I was like are they going to be able to print on this square and then I'm going to have to pay for shipping all this stuff and I didn't know how I was going to communicate what I wanted to the printer but I just looked up like a local Alpha Graphics which is like a chain printing shop and they even scored them for me which is going to make it so much easier 
to fold and staple all of these. I'm just feeling really like business savvy and like I made a good decision by going local with these. Okay, I'm gonna staple these. I have a market on Saturday. My parents are also coming on Saturday. So I kind of have to get shit done today. I have had kind of a frustrating day. <laughs> it is like 3.45 right now and I feel like I've gotten nothing done but I've been working the entire day. I got my new desk from FlexiSpot and it's no fault of theirs or mine but one of the cables of the um, adjustable desk is got smashed in the process so I opened up this whole big package of this new desk, started building it, and then realized it was broken and had to put it all back away. It's just like a big mess in my living room. I'm really craving a separate studio space. I like feel like I'm on the edge right now of needing one. I need an, an, a studio so bad, so badly. It would help me out so much to not have to work in my apartment. Um, I have an art market tomorrow, so my entire apartment is a disaster, and I bought this um, tablecloth from Amazon when I first started doing markets. Uh, it came like extremely wrinkled, it's like this polyester cheap sheet, and I thought that it would like de-wrinkle over time, but it's just not, and I don't have a iron. All I have is this, which we use to wax our skis. So I'm gonna try to get some of the wrinkles out of this because I think it looks really bad and unprofessional. So that's what I'm up to. I also am gonna be utilizing my new little print rack, which I'm excited about. days where you feel like you are doing stuff all day and somehow nothing gets done. I don't know what my expectations were today, but I got a lot of stuff done. It just still feels like I didn't get enough done. I think primarily because this painting is not finished and it is the 28th of the month, which is making me doubt my entire scheme of making a big painting every month. But it's also February, aka the shortest and most brutal month. And I don't think I'm gonna finish my painting before the month is over, which is making me sad. I could probably work on it, but like the fact that it's not gonna be finished is like deterring me from wanting to work on it. I prefer being the one to hold myself to a deadline, but it also means that I'm disappointing myself when I don't meet the deadline. It just feels more personal <laughs> that way versus just being like, hey, I need more time and like asking for permission from someone versus being like, oh, I estimated my own abilities wrong. Like that feels worse for some reason. I'm gonna clean the kitchen, I think that'll make me feel better. Whatever it is, whatever you are, I'm gonna have a good one. I would recommend grabbing yourself a little bit of tea or a hot beverage of your choosing, something that can make you happy, because today we're talking about how to stay motivated and focused on this my name is Kristen by the way I have been making YouTube videos for like less than a year but I just recently got monetized Yay! 
out of all of the social media platforms that I use, I get the nicest and most like thoughtful comments on YouTube. So I just really have been enjoying making YouTube videos and spending time on the YouTubes lately. Uh, so leave me a comment if you're new or if you have watched all of my videos, just say hi. Um, I really appreciate you. I'm still learning how to be a YouTuber. It's hard, man. That's the end of the video. You don't have to keep watching videos, but if you do, you should watch some of my old ones. If you don't want to watch any more videos, you should go outside and take a deep breath of fresh air. It's quite nice out there. I often forget just how nice it actually is. I think I'm going to go do that too. I hope you have a really great rest of your day and I'll see you next time. Bye. of the paper don't burn up in the morning let it take inhale and let it out like reservations exhale and breathe i'm praying for some paper